Good morning and happy 2022. It's the second day of the new year and it's my first wash day. So I figured I'd document it. So here's the plan. I want to do an Amla Maso, Amla Bringraj and some aloe vera. And I want to put my hair in mini twists, but not today, at some point during the week. So this is preparation for that. And I really wanted to do like a purple shampoo wash to sort of get my grays nice and silver again. So I'm going to show you all of that. Okay, so let me quickly show you how I prepare my pre-poop because I did mention that I have changed how I pre-poo my hair. Okay, let's do that quickly. Okay, so I'm going to be pre-pooing my hair with flaxseed gel. I'm going to put a quarter cup of flax seeds into a pot and one cup of boiling water. I've turned my stove up to very high and I'm just going to let it boil and then leave it to simmer for a little bit. Okay, I have a little yogurt tub that's empty and a strainer. I'm just going to strain it while it's still hot. So I can reuse these seeds. I'm going to put them away and then reuse them next week when I wash my hair again. Okay, I'm just going to put it by the window and let it cool for a little bit. And while I do that, I'm going to prepare my Amla Bringraj Aloe Vera mask. Oh yeah, I wanted to show you. I do actually still have lots of aloe vera. So this is one that I'm still growing. I've had it for, I want to say eight months. So I'm going to keep it for another year before I start harvesting from it. And this is the one that I've been taking from now because the leaves are really big. So I've just been cutting pieces. So there's a piece gone here. There's another one that's gone there. So I've used, oh, I've used three. One, two, three. I'm going to be putting everything into this container. Um, I'm going to start with my amla powder. This scoop is about a spoonful. I'm just going to do two. Okay, now three. That's not a three. Three. And then some of my aloe vera powder. Two. And some bring raj. I've been melting this shea butter using the double, double boiler method. Ah. I'm gonna add some water, just a little at a time. Okay, I don't think this mixture is gonna be enough, so I'm just gonna double everything that I've put in here. Okay, okay, and this, this is the shea butter that I'm using, that I've melted. Okay, so I have everything that I need right here in my hand. I have my Amla Bringraj Aloe Vera Mask. Um, my Pripu. Flaxi Gel. And I have my purple shampoo, which I really like this because it's very pigmented. This purple conditioner situation is not great. 
I'll show you, but it's not very purple. Look at that. You know, so I've used it already. It didn't work out very well, which is why I'm doing a shampoo conditioner situation. going through my hair and I feel like it's in a good state I mean except for the fact that right now it needs some TLC like this is an old twist out it was getting a bit dry and I do need to wash it but I just mean in general my my ends don't feel very scraggly and I'm not feeling a lot of single stranded knots I kind of feel like I did a really good job at taking care of my hair last year but I did have a few setbacks because I decided to experiment and try a wash and go. I did it like two times, three times. The second time I'm counting as just like one week of wearing a wash and go for the whole week which I had to refresh which is essentially just redo the whole process again. Um, so that was kind of a setback because I ended up having to, um, I ended up having to cut my hair, well not cut, trim at least three times last year, which I only trim my hair once a year in the beginning of the year, but last year I did it three times. So I did my normal, you know, uh, year starting. Let's give my ends a refresh um, trim. And then somewhere in the winter, I decided to do a wash and go for the first time ever. And that was a disaster. It didn't turn out nice. Um, it didn't dry on time and it was time for bed. So I went to bed. And when I woke up in the morning, it was tangled and just weird. It didn't look nice. So I washed my hair that day when I came back from work. And then, I want to say maybe a month or two later, I decided to try it again. And at this point, I had a diffuser, because then I didn't have a diffuser. So I was like, oh, I've got myself a diffuser. I'm going to try this wash and go life again. And I really liked it the second time I did it. It was nice. But, and I'm not sure why my hair got so tangled, because with all the research that I had done, it, I... What I got was that with my hair, which is 4B, 4C, very kinky, you're not to you're not supposed to wear a wash and go for very long. So I didn't wear it for a week, sort of wore it for uh, three days, and then on the third day I washed my hair and then I refreshed the wash and go. Then I wore it for another three days and then I washed my hair. And then when I washed my hair on that weekend, 
to then not do a wash and go anymore. It was just, it was tangled. It was so tangled, it wasn't nice. Um, so I really enjoyed wearing a wash and go. I liked it, I liked the shape of it. I liked the fact that my hair did not come to my face like ever. So, you know, to have my, like to wear my hair out and to not have to bother to move it out of my face and to not have it on my neck, you know, because it gets quite hot. And where I work also is very, very hot. So it was just nice. It, it was nice. I liked the style, but I just didn't like how my hair felt afterwards. So I trimmed after that disastrous wash and go in the beginning of winter and then I had to trim again. I sort of held out and I didn't want to trim my hair. So I kept those damaged ends with all those single stranded knots for a while until it just got ridiculous and I was like, you know what? It's time to just let it go. So I trimmed my hair again. So I feel like because I have like hair length goals, you know, I, I really, 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 really want to get my hair to waist length not this year but i just mean that's my new goal now because right now i'm at the goal that i had like many many years ago when i didn't know what i was doing with my hair i really really just wanted my hair to be at bra strap length and we're there so now new goal we're chasing waist, waist length so that's what i'm trying to achieve so everything that i'm doing to try and maintain healthy hair so it grows is so that I can get to waist length. And then we'll see. If I get to waist length and I have new hair length goals, that's also fine. But I'm thinking in my mind, if I reach waist length, then maybe I'll do something drastic. Because I've been wanting to color my hair for a while, but I'm also afraid of having to bleach it, you know, the damage that comes from bleaching your hair. So I don't know, maybe if I reach my waistline goals, I'll cut my hair back, like mid back and then cover it. Because then at least I would prove to myself that I can get to, you know, really, really long hair. I, I, I don't doubt that I can, you know, it's just, I don't know how long it's going to take me. I don't want to spend another 10 years trying to get to that hair length goal. I don't think it's going to take me that long, but I still want to see how long it's going to take. So that's, that's what we're working for now. So we'll see. I'll document as much as I can of anything different or new that I do to my hair because I feel like I keep things relatively the same, except for hair products. I really, really like to change the products that I use on my hair. I'm not loyal to any brand. <laughs> I like to try new things. So that's the only thing. So maybe I'll put up a lot of product stuff, like products that I try, products that I like, things that I don't like and why I don't like them. concentrated it here because that's where my greys are. I don't really have grey, well I have some, but I don't have a lot of greys in any areas here. This is where I will see grey. So I'm just gonna scrub my scalp 
I'm doing it with the pads of my fingers like that.
So my camera stopped recording without telling anyone, it's fine. All you missed was me detangling my hair in sections. So just took pieces and then I put them in these very loose twists. And then I braided the loose twists together right at the end so that I could rinse them. And then I just rinsed like that, like making sure that there was tension and then poured water on the sections. Both of them are like that, see? Easy peasy lemon squeezy. There. Okay, so I'm going to wash myself and then I'll come back and put in some leave in conditioner. And then we're done. I'm done for today. It hasn't been bad, I think. It's still morning. <laughs> it's still morning. I was hoping to do this early and then have the whole day to just do whatever I want. Right, don't want to spend the whole day washing my hair. So it's been about three hours, considering the fact that I took an hour break, counting three hours of me actually washing my hair. Okay. So I think I did mention that I'm prepping my hair so I can put in needy, needy twists. Um, at some point during the week, I'm not doing it today. I'm just gonna wear my hair in these big chunky twists for a few days until I'm ready to do it. So I'm not putting in a lot of product. All I'm putting in is this leave-in conditioner and some of this butter, just a little bit of this butter. Just so my hair doesn't get dry during the week. So all I'm going to do is keep them in the twist that they are already in, the ones that I wash them in, and just make them proper twists because I had them very loose so that I can like rinse out the conditioner easily. Yeah, so I just put in this. I'm a little bit nervous about doing these midi twists because I haven't done it in a very long time. And I remember when I used to do it all the time, literally when I was growing my hair, I used to wear my hair in midi twists a lot, a lot, a lot. But it would take me a really long time to put them in. 
take me anywhere from two to three days, depending on how small I will make them. So I'm not going to make these really, really small because my hair is long. I started to get into these chunky twists when my hair was long because at least then, even though they don't look nice, I can still just tie them back, which I couldn't do back then. But I want to take a break from doing my hair for a while, so, and I don't want to put in any extensions. So we'll see. I'm sure I'll record that as well. But it's not going to be in this video. I think maybe I'm gonna take a walk because it's nice and sunny outside and I'm just gonna let my hair air dry and this is it until Wednesday I'm gonna start training on Wednesday and I say start because I anticipate that I'm probably only gonna be done Thursday night if I start on Wednesday I'm gonna be done Thursday night like during the mini twists but yeah so yeah, until then.